All right, if this is a couple watching this video and you are sick of seeing bunkhouse campers, this one's gonna be for you. This is one of the best-selling couples coaches on the market. This is a Crossroad Sunset Trail. Look at that big blue, beautiful light right up front. I guess it's hard to see in the video, but it looks beautiful in person and you'll be able to tell which camper's yours after a couple of drinks. But that's all right. This is a Sunset Trail, super light, 25 foot rear bath. Look at this huge, amazing awning on the outside. It's got a huge outside kitchen. Typically, you don't get an outside kitchen this big or at all on a camper this size. Look at how amazing this is. This is like a big, huge bunkhouse camper kitchen on the outside. Big old nice grill. You have the RV chill outside refrigerator, a sink with hot and cold water right outside, cabin out here for all your snacks, a stamp seal so this can get wet and won't rust, corrode, or anything like that. Pretty darn neat. You have power jacks all the way around, so you hold the button, your jacks them up and down. You have an on-demand hot water heater. Don't run out of hot water anymore. No need to worry. You got um, speakers up here with blue lights in them. You have an LED, white LED light that goes all the way down and lights up your whole site on this side. Aluminum aftermarket wheels. Extreme weather package, so it's fully enclosed and heated underneath with an upgraded furnace. And they also add an extra foil insulation in the roof and floor and i believe the front cap on this too just to be a better insulator for you keeping your ac from working twice as hard keeping your furnace uh, from working twice as hard and keeping your tanks warm for you and this also has 12 volt heaters on your tanks we'll get to that in one second check out these baggage doors so these are slam latch baggage doors you do undo that clip and it will close i'm sorry it's cold today normally it will close it's just a better latch system instead of the ones with the little twist knobs and this door will be a lot thicker it's not going to be all warped and all that clip just holds it right in and they got a dinky right in the head check out your pass-through storage i like how they put this extra finish in here all the way around and check out that massive led light going all the way down usually you only get one little light or sometimes no light at all and then if you see in the video here look at all this aluminum tube framing that's all welded and screwed together that's what the inside of this frame is going to look like it's all welded together it's aluminum so if anything that were ever to happen to this camper it's not going to rust roll mold rot you name it, it ain't gonna fall apart. This thing's gonna be like a tank and it's gonna be extremely light. Before we get in the inside though, we have a nice big painted front cap right up front with a Ryman, Ryman, diamond rock guard protecting the front of your camper here from rock chips, stones coming up from when you're towing this thing across the country, tow this thing anywhere. Two 20 pound propane tanks. You have a battery disconnect switch that kills all the power going from your battery to your coach. Power tongue jack. This is one of the coolest parts. So a lot of Keystone units are doing this. Sunset Trail, my lot, was one of the first ones that I've seen do it, but all your water connections are actually in the compartment here, just like a high-end fifth wheel would be. You can run your water hose right through here and stay connected as well. Then you get a black tank flush, so emptying out your sewer water, and you need to get that yucky smell no more. Get all that flush right out for you. Oh, like I said, it's cold. All right, let's check out the inside. Enough of the outside. Three years structural warranty. So your roof, floor, sidewalls, frame, welds on the frame are all covered for three years. Before we actually get inside, I wanna point out how wide this entry door is. This is a 30 inch entrance door. Usually they're gonna be a little bit more narrow than this one. And then your solid steps are actually wider on this one too. And then your top step's actually bigger. You know, if it's hard for people to get in and out, dogs, animals getting in and out, this one would be much easier for everybody. As soon as we walk in, we got coat hooks right here, or key hooks. You have a nice walk-in, huge pantry. Put your garbage can down there if you wanted to. Broom, dustpan, Swiffer, your wise vacuum. Look at how big that is and deep. There's even an outlet in there. I don't know why you need an outlet in there, but if you want to charge your wise vacuum, you probably could. I got one of those wise vacuums, and they work really, really well. If you want one of those, I'll drop you a link for that as well. Check this out. 40-inch TV, the Connects TV. That's Bluetooth. You even get a sound bar built in here with the radio built in. You can watch TV inside and have the jams playing outside. So that is pretty darn neat. Then check this out. Two theater seats, Thomas Paine, super comfy. Storage in the center. Wow, that goes deep too. Ah! Hide all your remotes down there. You got two cup holders for your coffees. And I like this one with having the big, huge dinette. A lot of people are against the dinette because they're usually too small to get into. If you look, this is a six foot dinette, so it's super long, easy to get into. There's plenty of space. I think this side is a little more open than this side is, but there's plenty of space to get in either side on this dinette versus any other dinette. And this is attached to the wall, so there's not your poles that are going to be all in the way. And then they can just do into a bed if you did have company. You just push that down and your end cushions will fold in and uh, it'll make a new bed for you. I always wanted to do that. That was cool. Check this out. You have tubs that are built into your cabinet here, so you can 
take these in the house, load them up with all your gear, bring them back, stay organized, or just keep everything in there. Now, for these new ones, they just added this flip-up counter extension. That is something they did need because this is one of the best-selling floor plans, but the one thing they did lack was a little bit of counter space. They went ahead and solved it, and it matches your table. Look at that rough edge. Looks like a, they just cut down a real tree by Paul Bunyan. This thing's awesome. Solid surface countertops. They always give you a cutting board in the sunset trail and a roll-up dish drying rack and the one-piece stainless steel sink and the pull-down sprayer to spray everybody. Look at that backsplash. I like that backsplash. That thing is clean. I like it. It's got a good look to it. Three burner stove top, oven, all real wood cabinetry. I like, they went with a little bit lighter wood now and give it a nice pop. Got glass doors here, or glass in your doors, I should say. Look at all that. Your high point microwave, your big Furion 10 cubic foot refrigerator. This is electric only. Don't worry about running any gas going down the road anymore and breaking the law. Uh, yeah, that was, a, that was a DLT hazard if you did not know that. But yeah, don't worry about that with the new campers. It's all electric. One of the best selling couples coaches. I love this one. Now look at this rear bath. This is a pretty big bathroom for a 25 foot camper. Look at how much space is in here. Your toilet's off in a great spot. Counter space on each side of the sink. Cabinets underneath. And nice medicine cabinets. See, look at all that. Real wood all screwed in. Rounded glass doors. For those taller guys or gals, I got this uh, skylight up top. Look at more storage over here. I didn't get to all the storage yet. Look at how much storage you get here. Now look at this. This is on top of your outside kitchen. Oh, look at that. This is huge. Tons of storage. Yeah, this thing is awesome. There's your on-demand hot water heater. Don't run out of hot water anymore with this one. Unlimited hot water. Endless hot water. However you want to put it. This one's sweet. Oh, and before I get into the bedroom, they're using the PVC pontoon flooring like a lot of Keystone products will be. But yeah, now you don't get the carpet in the slide out. So if you do have animals or pets or kids, you call those animals, I don't know. Don't worry about anything soaking in. It's uh, kind of going to just bubble up and run right off. It's not going to soak into any carpet. And 20 years on the road, you won't get those smells anymore like the older campers sometimes. King size bed right up front. You got two doors that actually close. I like how they went with the black doors. Gives it a nice look now. Kind of offsets everything. Instead of everything always being the same color like most campers, I like how they offset everything. But I love this fitted comforter that they have that fits right on the bed, nice and easy. Makes my job easier so when they actually come in, I can make the bed very easily. So I do like that. You have a pet station underneath with a blue LED light. You can put your food and water bowls for your animals. And we do have storage under the bed. Let's check it out. Look at that. So you have shocks holding this bed up. You have all this storage underneath. Plus you have your pasture on the outside. You got cabinets above, closets on each side. And then you have these little shelves in the back too. And you have outlets and USBs back there, CPAP machines, phone charging stations. You have two individual lights for reading. And wow, I just noticed that big, huge backsplash back there. The wall board, I should say. That's pretty neat. Yeah, you can close your uh, room off completely if you have gas. Your bathroom's all back here. I mean, you got plenty of open space. 25 feet, I think it's right around 56, 5,800 pounds. Extremely light for a camper this size. Plus, I think I mentioned in a couple other videos, but you get your barreled ceiling, if you notice in here. It's very rounded, and I can show you from the outside as well. It's very, very rounded. Sunset Trail will have one of the most roundest roofs on the market today, but water, ice, snow, debris, nothing will stay up top on a camper like this. It's going to run right off. And then it makes it feel more spacious on the inside of the camper as well. But before I go, look at how big these windows are. These windows are huge. They all open. That one's massive. I like those valances. It's not the carpet valance. It's actually real wood. That's sharp. Ship lab on the wall. You got an outlet right here. Man, USB ports down there. And before I go outside again, you have a motion sensor light when you first walk in. So if you're having a little too many drinks, I don't know why I keep talking about drinking. I must want to drink today. But uh, you ain't gotta look for the light switch. You just pop on in and your light will pop on on. That was weird. Yeah, this thing is beautiful. Oh, you got a quick connect spray port that will hook up right here as well. I think it's the same hose that goes to your uh, one up front in your compartment. You have a rear roof ladder. Get on the roof, resealing your roof. Yes, you should be re uh, resealing your roof and at least inspecting it every 90 days just to make sure nothing's uh, happening up there. You just wanna recock at least once or twice a year. Please check those roofs, people. We like to use campers to look good. And it's prepped for a backup camera. If you want to add a backup camera, this thing is sharp. 
Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe, follow, like button, share a video or two. That never hurts. And uh, yeah, appreciate you guys watching. And uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about this one. This is, uh, like I said, one of the best selling couples coaches under 6,000 pounds, 25 foot, huge outside kitchen, huge king bed, huge bathroom. You get recliners. I mean, you can't get much better than this, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Tune in for the next video. And I'll see you guys then. Thank you so much.